Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. About 4,000 scholarship students from Ratnapura and Avisavella were civilly inconvenienced today when they were to sit for an examination following an English language course conducted by a private organization. Parents claimed the organization had misled them and their children and had used the course to fraudulently earn money. The organization in question, which claimed to be affiliated to the government, launched an English language course for grade 5 scholarship students three months ago with classes being held in Ratnapura and Navisavila towns. Parents say the organization had promised a range of benefits for students who took the course and passed the examination. Letters were distributed among students from grades 2, 3, 4 and 5 by the school principals. Teachers had also been present at the lectures carried out by this organization. They charged 700 rupees per class and classes were held over three months. We received a paper requesting us to pay the fees for the examination today. Since the account number was private, we did not pay the money. They say that following this, all the students who had arrived for the examination were transported by bus to a location where private tuition is provided in Ratnapura. As soon as we arrived at the location, they began collecting the money. For more than half an hour, the 3,000 students and parents who had come there waited. We did not see any test paper. When parents asked questions, they failed to answer. So we brought them to the Aliagada police station and handed them over to the OIC. When news first made inquiries, the police media spokesperson said the problem was resolved after the organization repaid the 650 rupees charged from each child for the examination. These children arrived at the Susilode Pirivani in Dehi today to sit for this examination. While prior notice had been given, since the examination was not held, students and parents were severely inconvenienced. They said they had informed the Avisavila police after suspicions arose when the money was collected from them. When we came here, there were about 400 or 500 people in the queue to pay money. It dawned on the parents then that there is some sort of scam happening here. When we questioned the teacher and the person collecting the money, they said they didn't know anything about it. Tensions flared between the parents and course officials after the Avisavila police arrived on the scene. If you have paid money and if money has not been returned, then please come to the police station and every one of you can submit your complaint. You were given a receipt, bring that with you. Do not let this go. Other parents may be trapped like this in the future. The seal said presidential advisor Sarat Sadanayaka. All of the letters we received after that first letter did not even have a name on them. When news first made inquiries from Special Presidential Projects Director and SLFP organizer for the Ahli Good Electorate, Sarat Sandanayaka, he denied any involvement in such a course or examination. Two individuals have been arrested on suspicion in connection with this incident and are to be produced before the Avisavela court tomorrow. When the police act swiftly in the face of such irregularities and take the appropriate measures, it is to be commended by the public. Similarly, the police and competent authorities have a responsibility to act swiftly in the manner of the private organization in Kopiti, which has allegedly defrauded a large group of youth.